little Tur- country of Turkey. <laughs> and I say that jokingly. Uh, that this one? Yeah. yeah, man. They've achieved another milestone in their unmanned autonomous drones. So these things oh, fly boy. formation. Roll the tape, sir. It's actually pretty cool. Oh, boy. Is this real or CGI? No, it's real. Is there sound? Is this Not likely to be sound. copyrighted sound? Oh, I don't know. Good question. Maybe we'll I'm, just I'm playing it safe. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Where's the aileron roll? Dude, Did it's got that? an aggressive takeoff. Well, here comes here comes the wingman. You can't ground it, right? Ten, so it can be aggressive. Like look at that, dude. Ten second after burner go. Right. He, see, he forgot to put the wheels up. Even the drones yeah, make it happens. mistakes sometimes. It happens. So look at these things, man. So autonomous mm. solo. <laughs> Look at that. Look, they're linked together. That part's not real, no. But this part <laughs> here, this is if you were on the flying machine. This is also not real here, but DCS. Got it. Yeah. I mean, being superficial, they are kind of good looking. No, this is a big milestone. Like, I know I joke about a lot of things, but this is important because this is the future yeah. of cruise videos. Right. Like, I mean, normally we had ECMOs, Wizzos in the back taking the like, this is it. Like, so if you can't do this, like, what do you put out for your cruise video at the end of cruise with the music and all? Like, so you got to have something. And that's it's a big deal. So that's good. We're not going to lose cruise videos, even though we're going to lose all our pilots. So that's cool. We'll have that. YouTube will still have cruise videos. Yeah. Look, safe touch. And I wonder if they came into the break together. Probably just a straight in, huh? Maybe it's got little yeah. cards that pop up. Speed brakes, man. Is that what that is? I don't know. It's... Yeah. Look, do you better flare? Like <laughs> canards. Yeah. No, those are yeah. canards. Yeah, it's got canards. Yeah, but watch when he yeah. when he lands. Yeah, don't worry about that first third of the runway. It's fine. You don't. Yeah. Know. You paid for the whole runway. Use the whole. Runway. <laughs> yeah. Rick won every day. And look, the canards turn into speed brakes. Oh, there yeah. we go. Look at that. Yeah. See, look at that. Wow. Looks like he's smiling. <laughs> there it is. There. I mean, it's oh, it's cool by Rectar. It's cool, but it's kind of uh well, dude. So it's scary at the same time. I don't know if you guys saw, but I think it's two, three weeks ago we covered. uh So it's Turkish avi- avi- aviation industry making some headway with unmanned flying machines. And a couple of weeks ago, Mover and I did a story where uh they launched one of these things, and it. I mean, it's just a video, so there were some assumptions to be made, but it took off, acquired a target, fired a missile, and shot down basically another drone. And I, in the clip, I said, you know, it doesn't even show uh, the missile hitting the drone. I went back and rewatched it, and there's like literally like two frames where they spliced in really quick of the the missile allegedly, you know, hitting the target. I'm, and I just say allegedly because, I mean, who knows? But. Um, so, hey, the thing can take off, target, shoot down, and land. And now it can take off, join up on a wingman, and fly around. As you guys know, I think even Casmo right in military aviation, it's always good to have a buddy, right? So, like, whether you're fighting with airplanes or helicopters, uh, at least two is better than none or one. So, nice. like, yeah, like you said, Wombat, it's, <clears throat> it's, it's, they keep, uh, they keep, moving towards the goalpost man you know it's like ah oh, they'll never yeah. do that and then they do it. and they're like well they'll never the formation piece is kind of hard you know but they'll never do a blue angel uh routine next thing you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? no i mean that's they're, if, if listen if they could take off black formation have a blue on blue return to base and land that was my military career as a fighter pilot. Right. so <laughs> like if you could shoot down your buddy and then come back like yeah they've done right. it they're done they've peaked like they're at least yeah. at my level of fighter pilotness at this point. So, Kazo, what, do you, what, what do you think? What do you think of that? That technology, man. I, I mean, I think it's jokes aside. I think it's terrifying. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. Um, yeah, I don't either. I understand it. I, I get it, but I don't. If we make fighting war so push button that there's just like no emotional stakes to it, like it's just gonna get out of control. Like mm-hmm. I just I don't like the direction that we're going, and I mean that's true for a lot of things that we've pushed automation on. It's going to hurt a lot of people in the long term. But um, yeah, I'm not a fan of this. Well, and I mean to your point, Cosmo. Like, I mean the 
the question I have to all of it, like it's cool technology. It's cool to watch right. it, but who's controlling it? It's right. All, right. I mean, that's the question, right? Like who's it become aware? It? Because well, no, not even that. I mean, that's the ultimate fear, right? Like that's yeah. the you know, the Skynet fear. But I'm talking about like I'm I'm not even at the level of concerned about being worried about the computers. I'm concerned about the leaders and politics that we currently have that are making the decisions. Right. And then if there's, you know, if there's no, you know, boys and girls going to fight, as you know, Casmo's alluding to, it's a lot easier to push the button. Be like, it's very, know. it's very different. Exactly. Push the button. And I, 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 I don't want to bring current events into this situation. So no, I bring it up. Bring it up. Bring it's it up. very, it's very easy to just let's, push that button from a thousand miles away because somebody looks like a bad guy versus you're viscerally there. You're looking at that person and you, there's those subtle cues of what's going on around you. You see more. I just, yeah, I, I think we're going in a bad direction, but if you we don't have do it, everyone else will too. No, hundred percent. already are, 100%. right? I mean, we're watching Turkey do it. So, you know, yeah, know. exactly. They're a tiny well, country. So, right. You know, on, I mean, on one side, I mean, we all have kids, very tiny, right? We all have kids. So like on one side, yeah. it's like, I'd rather send a drone in there to do dirty work. But on the flip side, it, when you dehuman, when you dehumanize war to that extent, man, I, I just think it ends up bad for everybody, dude. You know, yeah, right. I mean, no, the not, terrible losses not. that we had in the world wars, um, you know, that's that's what drives people to do it enough. Like, and I'm not like war it holds hell. the leaders accountable when there is a death yeah. toll. It holds the leaders accountable. Otherwise, right. you start lobbing missiles at countries. Right. There's no mm -hmm. accountability. And then those missiles have nukes and those nukes have this and this and that. And it's global annihilation. So, you know, Desert the, the human element holds the leaders accountable. Desert Storm 91 was kind of the first, uh, I mean, I was a kid and I was in Saudi Arabia and I remember watching, I mean, you could watch on live TV strikes going on. I mean, that was yeah, the right. first time and that's, that brought war to like your living room. Right. And it, I mean, honestly, it kind of desensitized me a little bit, you know, because you don't, you just watch it on TV. You don't realize those are people dying yeah. in that building or whatnot. And this is like, Casmo is kind of alluding to, this is the next level of like, I don't know, where does this end? Right. Yeah. No, we're good. No, we're good. The technology is cool. The technology itself is cool, but uh, it's technology. Is... Yeah, if we, there's so many other things I'd rather see that technology used for, but but yeah, I don't. But that's not how we operate as people, unfortunately. No.